to be overshadowed by its neighbour Leeds, Wakefield is fast becoming a hotspot for a whole range of buyers. Steeped in history but with a modern twist, there are several reasons that many people are up in sticks and moving to the city. Incidentally, its population is 326,000 and it became a city in 1888. Hello, I'm John. Welcome to John's Box, my YouTube channel, and the first edition proper to 10 largest cities in England, apart from London, or besides London, and their pros and cons. In this first edition proper, I'm going to be looking at the city of Wakefield. Uh, I'm actually surprised that it is a city, and that it is uh, among the 10 or 11 largest cities in England, counting aside Greater London, which isn't a city. So it's it's definitely 10th. Um, the only thing I ever knew about uh, the city or ever heard of was its rugby league club, which was uh, actually established in 1873. I know there's uh, now come into my mind as a college there but that's recent by-election too but that's about the only thing I know I've never visited the city or the region so my information uh, as to the pros and cons are purely um, objective from the various sources online that I've delved through um, so who am I to say uh, if I've never been there you may ask but point is for me to share some of the information perhaps you might be moving there one day or thinking of working there so that's what my channel is all about to impart information so on the plus side I've uh, identified five of them and uh, then we'll come to the minus yeah so sit back relax and take a look at the pluses of Wakefield As just mentioned, Wakefield is a close neighbour to Leeds, being just 10 miles outside of it. Wakefield's two train stations make it a breeze to commute into the nearby city. Although its centre rivals that of a larger city in terms of amenities and transport links, the hidden gem of Wakefield is the vast amount of greenery right on its doorstep. Wakefield is home to some of the most picturesque country parks, including the ever-popular Pugneys Park. So whether you want a taste of the metropolitan city life, or you prefer something more peaceful, Wakefield really does give you the best of both worlds. Location leads nicely on to the next point of transportation. There are two main train stations in Wakefield. Kirkgate Station takes you all to local destinations, while Westgate Station transports you a little further afield. Those of you making regular journeys to the Big Smoke will be able to do it with ease, with 30 direct services to London's King's Cross running on weekdays from Wakefield. Wakefield's impressive transport links don't stop on the train line, as the city sits at the crossroads of the M1, M62 and A1 roads, taking you far and wide. Despite the short commute, property prices in Wakefield are slightly lower than that of Leeds. Depending on the area, you can get yourself a family home for far less than many areas of Leeds. Exclusive areas of Wakefield, such as Walton, come with a slightly higher price tag. There are a range of properties available in Wakefield, so whether you're looking to rent a city centre apartment or wanting to expand to accommodate a growing family, you won't be short of options. It's hard to pinpoint one factor that makes Wakefield great for families, so here's just a few. Starting with schools, Wakefield has a huge range of them, ranging from preschool to high school. With both private and state schools available, you can be sure to find the perfect fit for your family. Looking a little further down the line, Wakefield College offers a range of vocational and undergraduate courses. Moving on to activities, there are plenty of other indoor and outdoor activities across the city 
to keep the family entertained, including the likes of the famous Hepworth Museum, Sandal Castle, or the Wakefield Treasure Hunt. Wakefield has a huge offering when it comes to amenities. For all your retail therapy needs, the Trinity Walk and Riding Shopping Centre will provide you with all the high street names. However, if you're looking to shop local, you also won't be short of independent boutiques and businesses. Last but not least, whining and dining. Wakefield streets are usually filled with an abundance of restaurants, coffee shops and bars. Diversity is something you can guarantee whatever your taste buds are telling you, and you will never be far away from a cuisine of your choice in Wakefield. And I'm not being biased. So now to the minus. Um, there's only one actually I found online, surprisingly. And uh, this is the one. in Wakefield is quite high. Higher than the national average, in fact. The city can experience up to 1,000 crimes per month. Violent crimes are the majority of the crimes done in Wakefield, adding up to about 33% of all crimes in the city. Antisocial behaviour crime came in second, with half the reported cases of violent crimes. Criminal damage and arson are the first most prevalent crimes in Wakefield. Most criminals in Wakefield are unfortunately not prosecuted, with only 3% of offenders ever getting to court. But, isn't it like that in other nearby cities? Might be worth checking out their stats. Uh, so, what do you think? Um, do you live in Wakefield? Would you like to live there? Have you been there? And what's your opinion of the city? Add your comments and tell me what you think. Tell others what you think. All comments appreciated, apart from the crude ones. Um, so, in the next edition, hopefully I'll be able to squeeze one more in uh, next month. There is, by the way, a series of programmes on cities uh, beyond England, in Wales, Scotland and Northern Ireland, which will be running alongside this one. So I'll be back shortly for the first uh, edition of that. First edition proper. In the next edition will be... Uh, city just south of uh, Wakefield, namely Leicester. That's in hopefully the December edition, if not December in January. So thanks again for viewing and uh, see you again soon in another video. Bye for now. Just thought I'd hit you with the ball. Hope it didn't hurt.